Here we have a very uh, beautiful Hamilton uh, wristwatch from the Hamilton Watch Company. And the Hamilton Watch Company moved to Switzerland after the American Hamilton manufacturer closed down in 1969. And the Hamilton Watch Company was founded in 1892. And they started the uh, Swiss manufacturing uh, element of the Hamilton Watch Company. Hamilton Watch Company is notably a Swiss watch company now, and it's in it's in Bern, Switzerland. So this is a very beautiful Hamilton wristwatch, and I want it's a retirement rich wristwatch because I picked this up, and it has engraving on the back, and it looks like the gentleman who had this retired from his company, and this was what he was given as a gift for retirement. It's actually quite a nice gift. It's uh, pretty impressive. If I can turn this around a bit, we can see who this guy is. Maybe. Uh, Joseph, if you can read this, you're a better man. Ponovic, something like that. So this is 1942. So he was given this in 1942. This is a very old movement. Um, it says 529. 1942 but in the bottom it says 1967 so perhaps that was the start date in the company and the bottom number was his end date in the company it is hard to tell because you'd have to find this gentleman and or his grandchildren and find out uh, what happened here so anyway this is a very beautiful watch um, and to remove the movement from the watch you actually have to take the back off from this side um, and we're going to just have a look at the movement in a second. So there we go. Uh, Joseph Popovic, uh, Weatherhead Company, the Weatherhead Company. I think you still can look, look for that uh, online. For Faithful Service, 2542. So fifth month, which is May 25th, 1942. It must be when he started in 1957 is when he when he uh, finished so he didn't spend a really long time there for those those time periods so this uh, watch is a uh, 10 karat gold filled as it says right here and it's a uh, Hamilton Hamilton watch company which is a uh, pretty impressive flip this thing around again How to take the movement out. There's a small groove on the edge here. And you can just stick the screwdriver in there. And then lift up. And there you go. And the movement drops right into the package here. And this is... Um, to look at the writing on this here. A little sharper very hard to read this but it says Hamilton Lancaster 10 karat gold filled and there's a case number as well so <clears throat> that fits right into the case like that and there's a beautiful movement so this movement as you can see let me just see if I can get a better zoom on that this is a very small but beautiful Hamilton 770 uh, movement at 22 joules. And I'm told this is a pretty high-end movement. So this uh, Hamilton 770 22-joule movement was an American-made movement, even though I believe the Swiss um, Signy is on the uh, front there for this Hamilton, so I don't think it's an American face on this. Um, but I think the movement, the 770, was a an uptick from the 753 movement, um, and it was somewhere between 1956 and 57 uh, this model came out. It was a dramatic improvement to the Hamilton line of movements, um, and they had uh, five key features in, with this movement. The first was that it was 22 joules, which was less friction. Um, it was fully adjusted. 
It had uh, shock resistant jewels for the balance staff. It was anti magnetic. And it had a lifetime Diavar white alloy mainspring. So, very impressive movement on this watch. Uh, it is, it needs servicing, obviously. As I, the balance uh, amplitude seems to be fairly low. So, I'm going to be servicing this watch sometime within the next week or so and bringing this back to life. So, I just wanted to share this with you. And um, we uh, stand by for uh, uh, the uh, video that I will have where I disassemble this beautiful little movement and get it back in shape.